The wheels of a van goes round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels of a van goes round and round all through the town. How are you? Are you okay? I am fine too. It's your teacher Anunciata. Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. Talking about West. And you've now known what is West. Anything that is not of use becomes a West. But now, should we leave it where it is? Should we just dispose it anywhere? No. We are supposed to dispose this waste properly. Why should we dispose the waste properly? When you dispose the waste well, you are likely to prevent so many accidents, like the falling, the pricks, the spread of diseases or flies all over. Now, we want to talk about sorting and proper disposal of waste. When you, from the word sorting, do you remember what we did in math? Do you remember we sorted? And during sorting, what were we doing? We were sorting things of the same type. If I'm sorting about yellow chairs, I'll pick all the yellow chairs together. If I'm talking about the blue items, I'll pick all the blue items together. If I'm sorting about the red things, I will put all the red pens together. So when someone asks you, what is sorting? Sorting means putting together things of the same type. <clears throat> what does the term sorting mean? Sorting means putting together waste. Now in this case it will be waste. Sorting means putting together putting together things of the same type things of the same type and we are saying in this case what are we sorting in this case we are sorting waste we are sorting waste so when we handling waste we should put together those wastes that look the same together now i have been given here several types of waste and i'm told now sort this waste very well these are the empty tins. I will look at this and see. This one looks plastic-like. I'll put them together. Those ones that look like they are dusty-like, I put them together. Those that look like the paper-like, I'll put them together. So we are saying when sorting, after we have cleaned the personal items and the common items, and there is some dust, waste we have collected from it, we are supposed to sort it properly before disposing it off. So we are saying, after cleaning personal items, after cleaning common and personal items, common and personal items, items, we need, we need to dispose of, dispose of the, dispose of the waste properly. We need to dispose of the waste properly. And how are we going to do this? How are we doing this? We are going to come up with different containers. We are coming up with different containers. And we are saying these containers will be labeled according to the waste that is supposed to be put inside. We are saying after cleaning the personal items, after cleaning the personal items, we now want to dispose of our waste properly. But now, before we dispose of our waste properly, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to find out which type of waste will be disposed where? We don't just dispose of waste. We are supposed to dispose of waste properly and safely. And for that to happen, you need to sort that waste. So I am going to label the waste bins as, this one will be labeled as paper waste. So all the papers, all the waste of papers will be put in this bin. Then this one will be labeled as the metallic waste. 
in case I have any needle, any razor blade, any nail cutter that is not in use and I want to dispose it off, I'll make sure I'll put it in the metallic waste. Then I'll come here and say plant waste. Uh, from washing utensils and we ate skuma wiki yesterday and now we have the remains of skuma wiki they automatically fall in plant waste we have eaten fruits and the pills will automatically be put in plant waste then i will come here and say in case i have any broken glass any broken glass will fall in the dust the bin of glass waste and lastly i'm saying in case I have any plastic thing that broke or that is not in use, will be falling in this being called the plastic waste. So this is how I'm going to group my waste. So we are saying after cleaning common and personal items, we need to dispose of the waste properly. Properly. And how is this properly done? by sorting them and putting them in the correct waste container or in the correct waste bin and we are saying after sorting after sorting the waste properly and remember we are not handling this waste with our bare hands, without goggles, without gloves, without masks. We must have masks on, we must have goggles on, we must have gloves on. So after sorting the waste properly the way I have done like this, I will now dispose it off well. And how am I disposing it off well? When you look at things like the paper waste, Paper waste, it also depends on the type of paper. There are those that you can burn. There are those that can be recycled. And do you know what can be made from paper waste? We can make what you call paper mache. We can make what you call paper mache. After sorting the waste properly, we now find appropriate way to dispose it. We now find appropriate ways to dispose them and when you're talking about appropriate way we are saying this include this include and i've said when i find out that i have papers and these papers i don't feel like burning them of course you can burn them but burning is not the right way. What am I supposed to do? I can do what? I can recycle those papers. And when you recycle them, they make what you call paper mache. And paper mache can be used for modeling. So we are saying you can recycle waste. Those that are recycled, that, that, that can be recycled, can be recycled. When you look at metallic waste, most of the metallic waste they cannot burn. Metallic waste cannot burn. So, the same way to glass waste. If you cannot burn this metallic waste and the glass waste, what are we supposed to do with them? You're supposed to bury them. Bury them. Bury them. And if you're not burying them, you throw them in a throw them in a unused pit latrine throw them in a pit latrine so that they will not appear anywhere where they can cause an accident and sometimes the metallics can be recycled and if they are recycled they they are gone they are taken to the factory and they are heat at a very high temperature and they can you can be used to make something else now we are on the plant waste i have my plant waste here i have the vegetable remains i have the fruit peelings what can i do some of these plant waste are eaten by animals so if i have animals around i can give them to animals give them to animals 
And if I'm not giving them to animals, I can put them together for them to form a compost pit. They can be used, apart from giving them to animals, they can also be used to make a compost, a manure, a compost manure. And compost manure can be used to add nutrients to plants. It's used to add nutrients to plants. So I've said for my plant waste, if I am not going to, to give to animals, I don't leave it there because it can cause an accident. I put it in a pit where they can form a compost manure. And you're talking about plastic waste. And plastic waste can be used, can be recycled, can be taken back to the factory and be recycled. They can be burnt down or, you're saying, you can burn them. And if they're not burning, you are taking them to the factory to be recycled. Or they can also be used for other uses. So, grade twos, as we come to the end of our topic, we are talking about sorting and proper disposal of waste. And we are saying, what is sorting? Sorting is putting together things of the same type. And after cleaning the common and personal items, we find out that there are some rubbish, some waste that is collected after the cleaning. And that waste, you don't just leave it anywhere and all over. What are we supposed to do to it? We're supposed to dispose it off well. And when you talk about proper disposal, we're talking about sorting the waste first. Put it in one place, then sort the waste first. And how am I sorting my waste? I will sort my waste in different categories. There are those that will fall in the waste, paper waste, those that will fall in the metallic waste, those that will fall in the plant waste, those that will fall in the glass waste, and those that will be in the plastic waste. Then that is when I'll decide what will happen to this type of waste. And there are those that can be recycled. So I will say these ones, I'll try and recycle them. For example, the paper will be used to make the paper mache. I will decide now for these ones because they can cause very dangerous accidents. I will bury them or throw them in a pit latrine where people cannot meet them. And you're saying for those ones that can be made manure like the plant waste, I can decide to put them together and make a compost manure which will add nutrients to my plants or give them to animals to eat. And lastly, I can decide to burn them like the plastic waste. So I believe most of you have seen the way this waste is being disposed of. Do you remember, Janet, when you told me you met someone carrying a lot of bottles in a sack? Yes, they were being taken to the factory for recycling. Do you remember when you told me you saw mommy throwing broken pieces of glass in a pit latrine it was proper disposal so that they cannot cause accident and especially for you young kids who are still playing around then there are those who make someone was telling me the other day they don't use fertilizer they use a compost manure and how, where do they get the compost manure from the waste like the plant waste or the food waste and when you saw smoke the other day coming from the other side it was waste being burnt. Is that okay? Are we together? Now we have learned proper disposal of waste. So as from today, as from today, I don't want to find people disposing of waste anywhere just like that. Is that okay? After sweeping the classrooms, make sure put our paper waste in one sack. We are going to use it some other time to make paper mache. Same to our parents at home. Go and educate them. Tell them when you're disposing of waste, make sure you dispose it well and safely so that you can prevent accidents. Is that okay? Are you going to do that? Are you going to help your parents? So tomorrow when you come, you'll show me how you have disposed your waste properly at home. I want to see the different types of containers in which the waste are put in at home. Then after that, you'll also take a video on how you will dispose the waste properly. Is that okay? Any question up to there? Any problem? It was nice having you around and I hope I will see you in the next lesson. Thank you.